Welcome back, everyone. Well, it's time for our Book Nook segment. And Brent joins us, as usual, to talk about what's new in books and movies. And I see some CDs as well. There's some, there's some music as well. Greetings and salutations to you again. Yes. Uh, it's, it's an interesting mixed bag. It's a lot of fun stuff. Uh, Right off the bat, you know, there's not a lot of movies out this week, but there mm -hmm. are some, a lot of TV series came out this yes. week. And season three of Game of Thrones is like one of the big releases. People have been waiting for this for a while. Um, it is also based on a very popular and very famous series of literary works, too, books. Mm -hmm. So, of course, I always love it when something, there's, you have books you can sell to fans of the TV okay. show and vice versa. <laughs> Uh, also, I think at uh, Barnes and Noble, when you when you get one of these right now, it comes with a really cool dragon bag. Oh, okay. You, you gotta have a dragon bag, right? Yeah, you gotta have a dragon, you gotta have a dragon bag. bag. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, do you like Suzanne Vega? Do you know I Suzanne do. Vega? Okay, well, her new album is out this week, and we're playing it in the store. Nice. And I'm telling you, it's to me, it's one of her best albums since back in the day. Really? Like since Luca and all of that. Yeah, and it's I'll really, just really good. Take that but, and, and, and check out the title. I love the title. Tales from the, the realm, realm of the Queen of Pentacles. Pentacles. Yeah, yeah, it's a great title. It's a really she looks really cool, and it's just really really nice music. Yeah, this is a little bit. You hear a little bit of uh, Middle Eastern music, a little bit of world music. You hear a little bit of like um, just Mediterranean, a little bit of Spanish music in it. Uh, really nice, nice stuff. Yeah, fun for any occasion, any day, and yeah, any and taste. I, I, I think I think it'll cross over a lot of different uh, demographics as it far as being probably popular. Will. Yeah, I'm just going to take this and take set that this up here. Uh, before the break, we were talking about how we both grew up listening uh, to the Beatles. We did. We kids, because mm -hmm. thanks to our parents. Yes. And this is the 50th anniversary of, of course, their debut in America. It is. So what the, the what they've done is they re-released all of the U.S. Beatles albums on CD. Nice. Mm -hmm. Some of these are for the first time on CD. Like we're talking about this one here, Beatles, uh, yesterday and today. You know, those, they're like little miniature albums. Yeah, they, they are. They duplicated the sleeves like with the original artwork and all that. First time on CD, this one. And this Which one is here, very hey, cool. hey Jude, first time on yes. CD ever. Very cool for it to look like. And also, uh, Hard Day's Night. The mm -hmm. What's funny about this and Revolver, these were released um, on CD, but it was the British versions of the albums. Mm -hmm. The U.S. versions had sometimes different different songs, different arrangements, different order of songs, and that sort of thing. So this is the first time that the U.S. versions have been released on CD. Right. So for collectors, or just fans, it's a really good cool yeah, thing to have. Yeah, it's time to go and buy some new Beatles. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, a lot of great books out this week. Um, uh, J.D. Robb here, uh, she writes a series of mysteries mm -hmm. that take place in the near future, in the 2060s. So it's kind of like Law and Order, but in my kind of yeah. the near future, right? And this is a great mystery that is about someone is renovating an old house from the 2040s, and they find <laughs> skeletons in the walls, like literal skeletons in the closet. Oh, wow. So now there's like all these murder cases have to be solved. So it's, yeah. But it's fun with some of the technology and the forensics and all that kind of stuff. Right, right. Um, this one right here, uh, Christine Feenan is um, Dark Wolf. She does for werewolves kind of what... Anne Rice did for vampires, okay. made werewolves romantic figures. Of course, Anne Rice now is trying to make werewolves as well. So, but anyway, that's right. for fans of that kind of fiction. Mm -hmm. And then we have this really great book here called The Museum of Extraordinary Things, which is the story, it's a love story of a mermaid, or at least a girl playing a mermaid in her father's carnival freak show. So it's a lot, <laughs> okay. yeah. So she, and of course, she meets this really interesting boy and all that. Yeah, of course and, she does, because she's an interesting um, person. The Reaver is a story of pirates. I told you last week, pirates are popular. We love this pirates. Is, this is from the world of Dungeons and Dragons, which is a sort of fantasy okay, realm right. for the game. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, uh, pirates also exist in the fantasy realm. So it's kind of like Game of Thrones meets Pirates of the Caribbean, sort of, yeah. kind of. Yeah. You know? Pirates. Pirates. Can't be the pirates. Thing. And... You can get a dragon bag. Dragon bag. Can't dragon, beat that, dragons right? and pirates. <laughs> dragons, See, dragons, pirates, pirates and mermaids. werewolves, mermaids. That, there you go. And the Beatles. And the Beatles. Oh my. Oh my. Yeah, because that's everything fits except the Beatles. <laughs> well, no, the Beatles totally. The Beatles goes with any any occasion. Well, this is true. This is true. So, what's your favorite Beatles song? Oh my gosh. Can you even pick just one? Uh, you know what? Well, when I was a kid, it was uh, "Saw Her Standing There." Really? Which was a cover, but also I loved "I Want to Hold Your Hand." Yeah. You know that yeah. was like the first big one that I heard when I was a kid. I think mine's Eleanor Rigby and Paperback Writer. That's a cool one. But then I could pick like three others too. So Day Tripper. Yeah, yeah exactly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, you know, just list them all because that's really what it's about. <laughs>